The third poem is a tribute to the festival's co-founders uh, and the Rooks, and in particular to Connie Rook. It's called In Gwen McEwen Park. Three oaks and three chestnuts sentinel this oasis. Kids caper in the nearby schoolyard. Sparrows ricochet around Walmer Baptist. An ant crawls over my shirt. A robin wades through the unweeded grass. Women cross the park with varied charges, a baby, a baguette, a book. They pass the plinth with McEwen's head above an engraved quotation from Afterworlds. We're still dancing, uh, dancing. In a city forever on fast forward, taxis circle the park's three stop signs. At the park's south end stand two new saplings. One a slim magnolia planted last year in Connie Rook's memory. The reason I've come here. Under the magnolia, a plaque commemorates Connie's open heart theory. The act of writing holds out the promise of an ever deepening connection to the heart of life. I splash a dram from my cup onto the lukewarm soil, recall her talk about invoking the you. Connie, you were all heart with my writing back then. Is it too late to tell you I've found it again, to say thank you for the eternal bright light? I want to stay in this chestnut shade, let more ants mat my sleeves and cuffs, but I have to get back to the conference where new poets, sharp as scalpels, will be reading, and I will listen with a heart as open as Frida Kahlo's. Over the church, storm clouds thicken in gridlock. I walk to the subway, posting a photo. In my socials, a mutual friend of Connie's comments, that park is like the secret garden, surrounded by a wall of city streets.